Mic check, mic check. Y'all hear me out there? Strap Sound Lifestyle Podcast. This is the pilot episode. I go by the name of Trey D. Strap Sound Trey D, if you don't, if you know me from social media. Hip hop artist, uncle, black man, uh, cannabis enthusiast. Um, what else do I do? I do a little bit of everything, to be honest, but overall, I'm an American and I am a black man. That's number one. That's the most important. And the one after that, I think is most important is uncle. Shout out to my nephew, Trenton. And, uh, and obviously, the hip hop artist, hip hop artist, songwriter, recording artist performer. I don't even know what to call it anymore. I like to say musician, but when you say musician, people ask you what musician, uh, what instrument you play, and I don't play no damn instruments. But uh, Strat Sound Lifestyle is the podcast. Strat Sound Lifestyle, if you see I am wearing, it's the merch company, the fashion brand. Strat Sound Entertainment is the company. It's pretty much the umbrella of all of my companies and all of my endeavors. Strap Sound is the acronym. Strap Sound stands for still trying really anything positive, teaching our world now. So Strap Sound Lifestyle is the brand, and I thought it was a good name for the podcast. Strap Sound, once again, is an acronym, still trying really anything positive, teaching our world now. Now, let me break that down for you, what that means to me, because Strap Sound was originally a name of a hip-hop R&B group I was a part of. The name came from one of my homies and business partners and friends and fellow brothers in rhyme, Canary Colors, Canary Valley. Check out his YouTube channel. Check him out on uh, Instagram. He still is a musical genius in my opinion, but he is focusing more on the media and the videos right now. And pretty much why I'm venturing out into the podcast world. I mean, I do have a hustle during the day, and I hear a lot that people ask me, you have a good voice, you should, you should do voiceovers, you should do podcasts, you should do TV, or you should do radio. And I'm very interested in doing all of them, but honestly, I would like to control the media that I release and the content that I put out there, you know what I mean? If you know me from my hip hop music, or the rap music I make, or the R&B music I make, or even the electric music I make, you know that I'm very, pro artists when it comes to the content that people create is very important, you know what I mean? And I think it's a lot of people out here that are not really in control of the content that they put out and they also don't make content that I feel like they like to make or they even appreciate. You know what I word you know what I mean? In the words of my homie Big Chat Famous, create the world you would like to exist in. You know what I mean? Like you have to pretty much create the art that you would like to appreciate. So this is what this is right now. Strap Sound Lifestyle Podcast. This is the pilot episode. I'm pretty much just at my apartment somewhere in uh, Strap Town, Georgia, at home, just, you know, working on the pilot myself. Got the GoPro going, the iPhone, and I'm using my Pro Tools, which I create my music at home on. So I thought I'd get this pilot out and see what the people think about what we have going on and what we are planning to do. Pretty much Strap Town Lifestyle Podcast, I would like to focus on music, Black America, cannabis, and just pretty much the trending topics of, of our culture. When I say our culture, I mean Black culture. When I say Black culture, I mean Hip Hop culture. When I mean Hip Hop culture, I pretty much mean American culture. Because Hip Hop is the number one export of what we do here in North America. And Black people, you know, we don't really get enough credit when it comes to the culture because we really dictate what's really popular, you know what I mean? So I need to, I think we need to take the power back. There's nothing wrong with these big brands using hip hop and influencing what we would, what they want to do, what we do, but you just have to cite your sources. You make sure that you give the credit and respect due to what I feel like you need to, and it's obviously black America. You know, we pretty much came up with the wave right now, or the soft right now, or the swag right now or what everyone's doing to push their brands, you know what I mean, worldwide, not even just this country, but, you know what I mean, Strap Sound Podcast is, Strap Sound Lifestyle Podcast is what I'm working on right now. Still got the music going, you know what I mean, I actually have a new single out right now, it's called On Sight, we just shot the video, the video is coming out on my YouTube channel, Strap Sound Trady, or just put in Trady On Sight, 
We're going to have a premiere for the video actually on Saturday, March 30th at 4 p.m. So go to my YouTube channel right now, Strapped on Trady, and check out my video on site. The song is pretty much a dedication to my late cousin, Breon Reed. Rest in peace. Long live Breon. It's one of my cousins, you know what I mean, that passed away, lost his life last year in a car accident. And it was pretty much my dedication to him that I will stay true to what we do is, you know, we create art. That's what we do. He was a, 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 a inspiring stand-up comedian. He was also a chef. And he was just a dope brother all the way around. Not just saying that because he was my cousin, but I got a lot of respect for that brother. So I thought I'd dedicate that song to him. And that's the first video I shot in 2019. I shot it with my buddy Darren Orr of uh, Point of Origin Productions. And uh, shout out to my brother Pearly James. He was in the video with me. Once again, like I said, my, my brother Canaries Islands that helped me come up with the Strat Sound concept, which used to be a group, but now I turn into a media group, you know, music, hopefully podcasts, and obviously, like I said, the brand, the clothing brand. Clothing brand has been around for like maybe four or five years. It went from just merch. Hopefully we can get to the next level of get to high fashion, but Strat Sound Lifestyle, check it out on Instagram. Check it out on my website, straptowntrady.com. S T R A P T O W N T R A Y D. Trey D pretty much just comes from a nickname that I had growing up. My name is Trayvon Demetrius. So, you know, just short. That's just what we do as black people, especially black folks in the hip hop industry. We got to give you a nickname. Everybody got a nickname. You know what I mean? So, Trey D is just what I go by, or Trey is whatever you want to call it. Strap Town Trey D. So, pretty much where that came from, like I said, was a nickname. My homies that originally first started calling me that is, uh, you got to go back in the story, is my hometown of Clarksville, Tennessee. Some of the first brothers I ever wrote rhymes with. Actually, one of them just passed away last year. Rest in peace of Mikey Cigar, Michael Bimbo, Clarksville, Tennessee. My homie Melvin, black poet. That's pretty much the first brothers that I actually wrote rhymes with. And we came up with a couple different nicknames, like I was saying, or your, your stage name or your rap name, whatever you want to call it. but. The original ones is just, you know, generic hip-hop names like everybody else got, man. Trey, Ice Trey, Slim, you know, all the normal names, but the one that stuck was always Trey D. Because, you know, back in those times, I wasn't really focusing on making hip-hop music. Or for myself, I've always been a big hip-hop fan. Shout out to my parents that put the game in me early, but I wasn't really focused on making my own hip-hop back then. It was more basketball, you know what I mean? So Trey D was another name that people used to call me when I used to play basketball. Even though I really had never had a, a tray game, aka like a three point game, but you know, I was just a score. So I know how to put the the ball in a basket at the end of the day. So a lot of people call me Trey D through that too though. So that's pretty much where that came from. So and like I was saying, my hometown, I wasn't really into the hip hop to make it myself. Actually, outside of just writing poems or writing verses or writing sixteens or writing raps until I moved to, to Georgia. I moved to Georgia around 2002, I think. I was in uh, high school. I was a freshman in high school back then, so I didn't really start getting into making hip hop on my own until I graduated from high school. Because like I said, my main focus back then was really playing basketball. So, you know, automatically I assumed that I was gonna play in the NBA. And if you know a lot of people that know me, they could tell you I definitely was good enough to play in the NBA, but. I had a lot of a lot of things going on with me as a young teenager that really 